on the evening of Monday the 18th of January 1993 in an alleyway just off the London Road in Greenhithe, North Kent. Claire Tiltman, a 16-year-old schoolgirl, was killed in an apparently motiveless attack. A massive police investigation followed, but uncovered no suspects. Claire, the only daughter of Lynn and Cliff Tiltman, had been stabbed no less than nine times. Cliff, this is obviously a very difficult time for you. How are you managing to get through it with your wife? Very, very difficult. Well, we're not really. Sort of scattered. Um, I don't know, a lot of people have, people have asked me how I am. And all I can say is what I've said to the doctor and everyone else. Do you know anyone that's got a tablet for a broken arm? If anybody knows anything, you know, if they just phone the police. Uh, Please. If anybody's got any idea. So you know, that they can't do it again to anybody else. Anybody else. The investigating team believe that Claire's killer did indeed attack again. And now they want to use the details of that attack and a recent change in the law to try and prove Colin Ash Smith guilty of the murder of Claire Tiltman. I'll wait today. I'll come back in the We're here to talk about the murder of Claire Tiltman. I know looking around the room here, there's a fair few of you that have followed this case for many years and probably like I share a real passion to try and bring some resolution to the murder of Claire Tiltman uh, in such horrific circumstances back in 1993. For the past three years, Nigel Pilkington has been in charge of building the case for the prosecution. Claire Tiltman was walking to her friends Victoria Swift, it's about a mile or so from her house. They were going to discuss college. She never made it to her friend's house. She was stabbed in an alleyway near to where Victoria Swift lives. Initially, people see her come staggering out and they think there's been a car accident. It's very quickly when people go to her aid see that she had actually been stabbed a number of times. And Claire died tragically at the scene. And what then took place was probably one of the largest murder investigations that Kent Police have ever run. However, Claire's attacker was never identified. Then we have to go forward about two and three quarter years to the 17th of October 1995. On that day, literally round the corner, we are talking no more than 300 yards, uh, a woman called Charlotte Barnard is approached by a man. He grabs her, pulls her across the road, he stabs her about 14 times. It is a, literally a miracle that she did not die, but she did not die. Now on that night and on that evening,